What is the product of the following reaction? First put charges and partial charges on atoms. Identify the nucleophile and electrophile. The bromide ion is the nucleophile, since it has lone pairs to donate, and the electrophile would be methanol. And the electrophilic center is the carbon with the partial positive charge. Now negative goes to positive. Draw an arrow from the negatively charged bromide ion to the partially positively charged carbon. This shows bond formation between the bromide ion and the carbon. Also draw an arrow from the carbon-oxygen sigma bond to the oxygen atom. This shows the movement of electrons from the sigma bond to the oxygen atom. How do we know that this reaction will occur or not occur? We must look at the reactivity of the nucleophile versus the leaving group. The bromide ion is a good nucleophile but a weak base. The leaving group is a hydroxide ion, is a very strong base and also a good nucleophile. This reaction would not proceed to products. Just like acid-base reactions, the reaction will favor the more stable, less reactive species. The hydroxide ion is a much stronger base than the bromide ion. The carbon-oxygen bond is much stronger than the carbon-bromine bond. The bromide ion may collide with the electrophile with the correct orientation, but in the transition state the oxygen starts to gain a negative charge. The oxygen is less able to stabilize the negative charge than the bromide ion, so the reaction would go backwards to produce the less basic, more stable bromide ion. This reaction would not proceed to products.